expected to go down in this fashion. They were able to regain themselves, get back into the game, and now it is time for map three. Yes. Of course, knife round. We'll have to decide here who gets to start on which side, and looks like pick a keeper. We'll have the advantage of starting off on CT. Yes, fast round. We see a stack though towards A. And Juliano with dual retas. Oh, never mind. They're going down underground actually. Oh, the oh. boost, Kiosa. Fast entry. And immediately pitch and slow it down. Still looking to commit towards this B-bomb sub, but maybe not as explosive as they originally were were planning to. Looks like bigger keeper not shy. Continued with the jump spot to see if they were still lurking around, which in fact was the case. Yeah. We we'll see. Who is it? Is it Juli Yeah, Juliana taking information. Underground also getting that kill on Anna. Oh, well, the kills are starting to rain. There's not a single loss on the side of Big Keeper. And I love this. So they got a lot of early on information uh, and they sort of crunched them into a corner. Team Pigeons already sort of have given up mid control and it yeah. was going to be a very tough job in order to regain them. So they, you know, they stuck to the game plan. But it also left the bigger keeper with a potential choice to push for information, which they ended up doing, and it worked out really, really well for them. So, meaning uh, weapons can come out, not so much here for Team Pigeons. Yes. Full eco on Pigeons. Ooh, Sana maybe is gonna be able to get some eco frags with her MP9, farming that money to get an off as fast as possible because overpass is the same as we talked about the uh, nuke being a very good op map o overpass is also super important to have an op that is uh, everywhere basically now yeah, two rounds played immediately being brought into the mix but of course maybe you need the, the heavy weaponry because now team pigeons got AKs themselves Gonna bring the firepower to the table. It's like all women strong here towards that B site. Maybe try to uh, go for the plan they originally wanted to do over towards that opening round. I mean, look at that, there is a trade. But now a lot of util. Big, not shy to keep this B site on lockdown. Yeah, two men set up on long. Not gonna find anything because everyone except uh, Sass is moving towards B. Sass doing some. taking some space actually by her own while 20. 20 and. Sass? Gets the kill on Juliano. information over that immediately Vic continues to respond with utility but that there's not that much left actually in order to hold back a push it's just a single grenade in the hands of Pauly who is holding monster so a nade could be good but instead just have to go with the swing if, oh, if the follow up would have been good she is ready to at least deal with short, sure, not quite though. Bit of awkward movement, but it means it's all up on Zana and sure a couple of players here oh, and there are low. Smoke looks a bit scary, but Zana is gonna choose to go the safe way and save her up. Very important to have that for the next round. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be the first round for pigeons and uh, it's very forth and back as the whole BU3 has been so far. Yeah, it's been a, a relatively close affair. It's often the second half where things start to spiral a bit more out of control. 
But especially these first halves have been super competitive. Yeah. So there is a bit more money in the bag on the side of Bigger Keeper. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were to force around this orb. Um, especially you could have a very big economic benefit if you do manage yeah. to immediately bring them back to uh, the square one, shutting them down after winning a round. That's exactly what we see them doing. Forcing up two M4s, one Farmers and one MP9 on Kyosa. Also, <sighs> Team Pigeons, even if you don't, if, even if they don't know that they forced, it's super scary still because they know they have an op and that she can peek anywhere. So it's always going to be super scary. Oh, Yenior getting mulled down Sass with the entry. Kyosa alone on site. Oh, all the flash. Okay. I mean, okay. Even blinded themselves, but still standing, all five of them. And yeah, with that once again being a, a big reinvestment here for Big, no choice but to save. Yeah, Op is gonna get saved another round. Uh, probably gonna put Big on an eco for next round. But they do have the M4, they do have the Op. So you shouldn't count them out. Also, quick uh, little update over on uh, a community stream. Of course, we have another matchup going on at the same time. But that one already finished just now. Navi Javelin secured a 2-0 victory over one win gang. 36-35. Uh, so, honestly, pretty, uh, pretty dominant affair. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, this is where things started off. All these flashes getting the better of these CTs. And even though there were three players up on that B site, the UTL game is strong. It is indeed. Son of the night for M uh, info in mid by the flash. That's noise being made. Oh, this it doesn't nade. really scare them. Oh, the nade. Oh, it's so juicy. I mean, even though it's not necessarily bringing anyone super low, it can be just an edge to have over your opponent. Now four versus two. Juliano a bit stuck there over towards Sandbag. And, you know, it could take only a single Molotov for her yeah. to get a kill. Similarly, like Kazana have pushed away. They know her position. Yeah, they seem to be aware of her, at least. Uh, they do have a Molotov. Sass. Oh, Giliano. Managed to get one, but then is that they're fast. Leaving Sana alone with her op. Oh. A very good kill, but look who is wrapping around. So much time being wasted. Ooh. Oh, if that shot would have hit, maybe she could turn around, but now still busy with the opponent right in front of her that Zaz could creep behind. So now Team Pigeons have completely reversed the score line. Started off with zero, now up on three, taking over the lead. And yeah, now we're starting to see sort of what we tend to see of Team yes. Pigeons when it comes uh, on, on this map. It's, it smells a lot like their home ground. Um, but then again, scoreline is close. Anything can still happen, especially now. We can keep her back on a bye. No op for Sana, unfortunately, but... I wouldn't say that uh, Pigeons has been super much towards mid uh, so far in the match. They have been more working towards short, working B, working underground to mid, and more leaving uh, Sass to work her own space at A, which she's doing really great. Uh, so, oh, Tori. Oh, wow. Okay. Massive opening. She's looking for okay. more. She is granted that. Cat helps her out. And sure, there's damage dealt, but still, the 
kills are not quite favoring big in this scenario. It's just Juliana left. She's close to the site. Bomb still yet to cross. It's it's not even picked up yet. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows what she can still do. Oh. The timing. Oh, oh if the timing is heading away, but instead Tori spotted oh. the leg. She's gonna get a flash. Yeah. Exactly. It's Great. So perfect. Oh, this is the kind of CS that makes me happy, honestly. <laughs> lean <laughs> and so well lean. executed yeah. Counter Strike. Time out now being called for big and understandable because right now the momentum is certainly spiraling into their opponent's hands. And it, it continues to be especially a punishment up on this B bomb site. They know exactly how to counter these positions. And you know, just takes a pair of flashes, sometimes in uh, a Molotov, and it seems like they're good to go. Yeah, they've been playing so perfect so far, uh, and it's it's very nice to see this kind of CS, actually. Uh, it's very structured, very good team play, crazy individual skills, and uh, it's very... This is what we came to... what we came here for, to watch. However, it seems like they work, are gonna work more towards A this round. Sass and Tori working their way slowly. It's safe towards long. Oh, Sass with the entry. Oh, Sass. The second kill. Of course, it is just upgraded pistols here, but we continue to see the a, a pattern arise here with pigeons oh, 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 oh. getting these. Confident openings. Now you have cat lurking about. They're not shy at all, taking space across the map. Yeah. And they lock it in. All five alive. Money is. Well, looking very stable now for pigeons. Money is moneying on team pigeons. Not as much for big. However, Sana is able to pick up an op. Uh, I'm not quite what her spawn is, but it would be nice to see her going for some entry, since she hasn't been able to have that up that much. Well, it looks like she's going to be committed too long for the time being, so once again not really going the way of Team Pigeons, who seem very keen on uh, taking this B-bomb side. I mean, it has been working. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel, Exactly. to do what works. Oh. oh, head. Holy, holy, you should have seen the head. No. Um, oh. Okay. I'm, I'm not too sure if she was super hyper fixated or maybe looking at a minimap. I don't know what was going on. Oh, but I have no idea. Well, it was a bit scary. <laughs> however, they ended up getting a kill at least, double nade, which uh, I'm not sure. Cat is she's a normal player on B because that could also be a tell that if it's. It was Cat ending up getting killed. Could be more players. Sass though worked her way up towards A. She's so good at taking the space. She's so good at just working her way alone. Oh, the same way the girls is good at getting kills. TV4 situation. 20 seconds. This is the real problem here is slow Ooh. will have to be it but it will be denied a spam through uh, and yeah Zaz might just be better off dying in this scenario yeah yeah there we go Yeah, this double was was it. The flash coming, just a tap bit too late. And 
there for Big Akipa, able to bounce back. A very much needed round because Team Pitches was starting to pick up steam. And they honestly still can. They have very much a shot of bouncing back. Money still not an issue. Zana going confident. That's a good spawn here for middle. Not quite catching anyone just yet. At least that too is early information that no one is rushing down on mid. So mid leaf CT is going to be taken in a different position. Yeah, Tori working her way up. Last time she got crazy entries. However, Pauli and Kyosa with a one kill each on Cat and 20. We smoke. Big is denying everything for the time being. Now, Zaz is in a very interesting spot. She could come in with a massive lurk, but it's very risky leaving then on uh, Anna and Tori to entry the side by themselves. And especially with Tori just going in like that, Anna not in position to back her up. Yeah, now you can just say goodbye to the round, I think. Yeah. Sass goes down to Juliano, leaving Anna alone. 30 seconds. She has her up. Yeah, I believe she's going to try to save this. Question is, will she be able to have Juliano? She is very hungry to get that up out of Anna's hands, but Anna has to... Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> she has the angle, but Juliano... She is... Well, she's faster. She is pressure uh, is certainly on. And now with a conversion here for Bigger Keeper. Timeout called for Pigeons. This was not quite the game plan they had in mind. And they have to look at what's going wrong and prevent it from going awry. Because now they're still in the lead. They still have money. So it's not the end of the world just yet. But it is good to talk about how to fix the mistakes. They do really like B uh, penguins. Zaz is the uh, the only one who often tries to make some work off of this A bomb site. Free oh. player, but with Tori falling, what is the game plan going to? At least Paulie. Oh. I mean, the attempt to try and take her out. She will eventually run out of bullets. And with Juliana found as well, this is a bit more of a scary scenario. Big has to retake, being a player down. Zana up on the orb as well. Yeah, this is gonna be a save for Big. Zana is able to save the orb at least. Aiko and Kyosa. Yeah, it's, it, these rounds really it's working very well in favor for Pigeons, and uh, they really like the B bomb site. And also, yeah. <laughs> Sass, I need to say it one one more time. She's been doing so great working A alone, and also getting her timings, and also getting mm -hmm. the frags that's needed. Uh, so they're, I don't, I'm not surprised the way they work this map going to so much towards B together because Sass don't need any help. She can do that by herself and they get all the firepower towards B. So that's very interesting, actually. Yeah. That does look like Big Keepers sort of found a bit of flow again. So it does make me wonder, can, can pigeons get away with continuously going B? Well, maybe, maybe not. They, it looks like they want to 
change the pace here a bit. Yeah. Everyone here heading straight into middle. This time yeah. in the hands of Giuliano. Double kill for her. Only one trade back. Yeah. Being alone there, Giuliano does such a good job getting two people and also making the time for Big to be able to rotate. Uh, that's super, super important. So Jenny are seeing anti-flash working brilliantly almost a Fair. double kill. Yeah, the yeah. pressure's on and luckily the cat was low. So Zana could finish her off with a pistol. Five on the board. Once again, a very close scoreline. Very, very close indeed. Oof, I'm getting sweaty in here. This is this is some intense CS. <laughs> yeah. Not even summer yet, but still, it's uh, it's getting hot. Yeah, so when A doesn't work, back to the original strat. All players strong, and of course, who else would it be over towards A? Lurking Ooh. about, but oh wow, well. You've been around that angle way too many times and now Kyosa can just spam you right through the smoke. Not how you want to be starting off your round, especially now you have Zars once again at the other side of the map. But when you're two players down, ideally you want to see if you can play together. Oh, Zana. With the third kill. Twenties down. Leaving Anna and Sass alone. Very splitted. Sass been working her way up towards mid, taking that control. Massive kill. Juliana knows that Zaz has been lurking around. She's not overextending either, she's just holding bathrooms. Just catches her in the process. Paulie, only one here to lock it in. And there we have it, 6-6, six to six, an incredibly close scoreline. Who will take the crown? Find out after the break.
Welcome back. It is six to six in incredibly tense scoreline. Team Pigeons and Big a Keeper head to head to try and come on top of the group at the moment to perhaps have the battle within the group. And it still can be anyone's game. We already had a very close affair on the first two maps, but this is where it will all come to an end. Yeah, I expected uh, a really close uh, B3, honestly, but this close? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I expected this close, honestly. This is really, really nail-biting and exciting. And yeah, I just want more, honestly. Well, more you shall receive. Flash around the corner and immediately big trying to take steps upon this B bomb side. And okay, that's far so good. Every single duel gets shut down. Couple kills here and there back, but overall the trades were there. And big, they looked in that pistol round, immediately bringing the heat here in half too. Very fast round and very crisp headshots. It's gonna be a eco round for pigeons. Big taking the time, taking it a step at a time, making sure not to walk into a potential stick. Because that is what is going on. Pigeons around the, the corner over towards B, which is where Kyosa is heading, slowly investigating. And Zaz, once again, <laughs> she uh, has a tendency to maybe leave the pack behind a bit. Continues on her own journey and is in charge of holding a flank. Oh, 20 gets the kill on Kiosa. Also gets to save one AK, potentially doing some damage with that. I mean, they have that one AK, which would be very nice if they could save. A little bit of extra firepower up on that CT side, so it looks like all of them are... Uh, well, I, yeah. I, I want to say help guard, but 23 is the only one still sitting close yeah. to spawn. I think they're quite lucky that the rest are, are making so much commotion. Maybe instead it's a bit of a distraction uh, so that 23 won't be found. Yeah, I would say so. Absolutely. It was the plan all along. So, 8k secured, as well as now the orb locked in 14 pigeons. So, the firepower was certainly not lacking. But can they found that round? Can they get back into the game? We got an orb on Anna. Haven't been able to show that much 
so far this game. Uh, hoping for her to show up anytime soon. Ooh. Kyosa. Ooh. Polly gets a kill on cat 20. With a triple. Oh, wow. Gets down eventually by Polly. But it's a 3v2 situation, and Polly is very low. And they're hesitant to get oh. the bomb planted. It's on the back of Zana as well, so it will have to be Polly pulling her ground. Oh, imagine if Ooh. Polly was the one planting. Yeah. She would have been finished. But now both of them still standing, but for how much longer Zana at least will get that first kill. Gets oh. aggressive, tries to get proactive, now has information. Oh, oh, oh no! <gasps> the lineup! Oh my God. No way! Paulie clutches it out! Oh Just when I think God. this wouldn't be possible with such low health. Pauly does yeah. it. A little gift just handed to her. They were so sure that she was monster, but she actually sneaks her way up to towards uh, Pillar. Amazing play by Polly. Yeah, so she too, steadily climbing up on that scoreboard. Big spread across the map. Once again, we have Chilsa leaving to deal with B aggression. And the rest slowly moving in towards playground along here. And these pistols hoping to contest, hoping to maybe make it a bit more expensive. Oh, at least we'll get Jenny R in the process. Mm -hmm. Do you see if Tori with it, the eagle? Kyosa gets the kill on 20. 4v3 and we're leaning towards B. Leaving Juliano to clean up in mid. Now both players are somewhat close, but what can you do? I think in this stage, maybe just hope for an exit. Oh, oh nice. the opportunity has been already denied, and so will the opportunity be of cat. Everyone taking out. Double digits secured for big. They march an inch by inch closer towards the finish line. To be fair, how this second half has been going reminds me a lot of how Mirage went down. Yeah, actually, and once again, uh, as it was on Nuke, I think Overpass has become a T-side map too. This <laughs> yeah, game. It's yeah. Very interesting. what's going on? I, I mean, to be fair, these, yeah, they, we have just generally seen them a lot stronger up on T-side. Yeah. Really where their confidence lies. Um, especially Kyosa being activated up on the rifle, taking so much space. Yeah, definitely. Kyosa has been... She she doesn't stop. She's been playing so great the whole uh, BOT so far. And I don't think she gets tired. She, she just continues killing and killing. And it's going great for her. So that's super, super fun to watch. Quick little sneak peek by 20. Didn't manage to see anyone. However, Kyosa is here. They have a lot of map control. So they came for a connector. They still have a player lurking around bathroom. Might be found though in the process, but by the time that they are now going to be entering, there's not that much cavalry up on this B bomb site yet. Should be able to take the bomb side with these two players up. And even though they're both quite close, they're struggling to connect the kills. 
And look at how much HP is oh being chipped away. Anna falls. Jenny R oh, takes the double here. Yeah. And secures 11. But I think it's a beast simulator today, honestly. It is. <laughs> it's. <laughs> this team is just yeah. like A. Hey. I don't think so. And both of the teams are so great at taking B. It's very. Yeah. It's interesting, for sure. Oof, so nice entries. Yeah. They're well, so fast. Even blind, Giuliano got a double. Yeah. Jenny R found a lot here within this round. She's been a bit more quiet. But even in these pivotal rounds, she can step up to her play, do her part as well. Slowly bringing Bigger Keeper closer towards that finish line. And this is now the pain point. Team Pigeons lacking the economy. I see Kat here investing into a full rival. But the rest, not quite. Keeping about 2k in the bank, going for pistols. So a hero rifle on the back of Kat is where it is going to be at. Yeah, and if Cat doesn't do anything crazy this round, it's gonna be at least overtime for Big Quicker. And she's gonna be boosted up here. Now, Con blown off. So there could be an opportunity, but looks like Jenny R is very much aware. Oh. And is uh, busy keeping. Oh, uh, yeah, well, keeping Zal's busy in oh. the prison. Oh, and she gets taken out. That's an additional rifle now picked up. Super Look at this, big kill. picking up the pace. I think this is really good. So they know that their money is not great. Gonna take long control immediately. Oh, Cat with M4 gets double. Also, Santa being tagged. That is very rough. Oh no, the footsteps. Yeah, and now Zaz has a rifle as well. Denying every possible entry, they know where Zana is. I think they spotted her. There we go. So that is now everyone with a rifle in hand, basically for free, on the back of that hero rifle. Um, and to be fair, it wasn't just the hero rifle. We had uh, crazy yeah. pistol kills here as well. Yeah, that kill from Sass was so crucial, honestly. And yeah, I don't understand how she gets that kill from the beginning. It looked like an absolutely death in the beginning but she ended up getting that kill and it's super important however some pace change taking over underground fast have short control Ooh. nice little nade on tori down to 76 hp round relatively slow oh but that is a punish it looked to flash 23 in but it didn't really do much on at least a sharp on her trigger keeping the numbers even A bit slow down the pace for big. Sass is there getting an important frag on Poli. While managing oh. to survive. It technically could go down into connect if they were to want that. That's massive though. Zana <sighs> finding Zaz in the process. And the rotation still yet to come. But the time is so incredibly low. If Ana can lock this side down. Oh, not quite wants to go for it. Has to give it up. Too risky to fight for it by herself. Has to wait for the team. And this that leaves us with a free on free a retake. Oh. Zana, what? well positioned, but no, it's Anna who takes the round instead. Oh. Finds a follow up. Now Jenny R needs to do it, but can't quite convert onto more. And that means we're still not done yet. How does. Anna managed with that. That looked like a kill for Sana, but Anna just kills her and kills another one and just quicker. round done. Yeah, well here we get to see uh, what Anna did in this round. That's Oof. one. That's the that's the follow up. 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh very He's like, dirty. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a, that's a head. That's I a head. Look it. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, Team Pigeons has no choice. If they want to prevent them from being on a serious point, this is their shot. And they're going uh, quick here, big. Jenny R. Of course, they're up on upgraded pistols. And I guess Jenny R's job was to gather up some information. So they know there's con presence. I think this will just be a run out of monster. Yeah. Flashes beside them. They're relatively good, but there's counter flashes as well. Yeah, Cat is ready and hungry for frags. A little knife in the back there for good luck. And we're up to 9 to 11th. Close. Very it's close. Still, it's still not locked in yet. I, I really thought that was a very large margin, but could keep out the momentum on their side. But now I'm starting to worry. Similar like how on Nuke it all slipped away. This could still end up in a similar fashion and then it's gonna be especially sour if they're stuck on 11. Yeah. And I think if Biggie doesn't get around now, I think they would need a, a break, a timeout, a pause. Because mm -hmm. uh, it starts oh. to slip away. <gasps> oh my god, Tori. But oh. Almost a double. Oh, because the double. Kobe. Oh my god, Kobe. That's not the fun way to start this first round. Such an important round for big and you end up in a three versus five, only seconds into the round. What yeah, a spam. And this, and this is so unfortunate because they are very low on money. Now, Kyosa falls, Giuliano, everyone yeah. is down. You have very little money. I mean, there's at least a bit of loss bonus, but this would have to be an eco. This would... You have to give up the tie here. Yeah. And then hope you can continue after that. But this is a complete turnaround here from Team Pigeons. Fourth and back, fourth and back, all during this BO3. I think I'm going to have a heart attack, honestly. This is, <laughs> this is too I hard. I wonder how our viewers are doing, because yeah. this is so close. Oh, a bit of jumping here in uh, T-spawn. Having fun, probably talking, I would say. Using, <laughs> yeah. Instead of using a timeout, maybe this is the, the yeah. timeout. Uh, wanting... Uh, Pinjins to waste as much utility as possible. However, they do have money, so I don't think it will affect them that much using utility. Oh, Anna. Guess one will get down though, but Sass is there with oh. two. Oh, and then we're back. But two kills, that's not too bad. That's that's no. fine. Will not affect the economy, though. Because Pinjoin's been working up that economy very good. And they do have money to for an off for Anna. Uh, but so does Equipa. Oh, okay. 11, oh, yeah, 11. The moment. Yeah. This is a make or break here for Bigger Keeper because if they lose this, their economy is in uh, an incredible rough spot. And the confidence as well. This is maybe even more so about the mental game at this point. Pigeons are finding their wings, are ascending and marching closer to their own victory. Back. Yeah, so close and now big sort of the confidence we saw earlier on with how they were able to take the site. It's not quite there, but a bit more passive. Yeah, for sure. It's not as confident as we used to see. However, oh, important kill there for Seth. Polly is down. However, really, uh, really back to B. 
45 seconds. Now there is enough time, but oh. counter smoke makes things a bit tricky over towards Monster, but a Groot double entry. Leaves us with a free on two. Now Tori also manages to get a double kill. Oh. Things are tricky and Pigeons are not done playing. They want to get to 12 first, but they have to get through Kyosa first on the back of the site. Here's a flashbang, spots the first, but the push is so good. Too many players to take down. And it is Pigeons who are marching to map and series point. Yeah, holy. Uh, that was <laughs> very interesting for sure. The money is... They still have money for AKs, no op, unfortunately, but they have a pretty okay buy at least. They have utility. Full utility on almost everyone except Sana and uh, five AKs, so it's doable yeah. for sure. We'd have to take a massive push here from Big in order to get to overtime. Oh, oh well, that's that's a lovely nade in favor of Bigger Keeper here. Even though initially the nade taken up poorly, they are getting away with the player oh. advantage, make it a double. These fights are a bit tricky. They continuously do tag up the players, <laughs> including oh, down their own. Close. Almost getting rid of Jenny R in the process. But it's a two player lead. A lot of space now to work with for big a keeper. And Pigeons have to gamble. They are stacking up with all three of them up on this B-bomb site. Might still be the right call here. It looks like the bomb might be heading that way. Yeah. This is... This is... Oh my god. This is gonna be interesting for sure. 20. Ooh. Yeah. There is overtime. It is. It oh, is wow. Overtime. It, oh man, every single time, but big do get it across. After so many rounds lost in a row, they get it done. They are still in it. And, I mean, we were predicting, you know, this is perhaps one of the most 50-50 matches yeah. in the entire, you know, season. Yeah. And it's proving its worth. It is very much so. We knew this was going to go into a very tight match, a very tight BO3, and that's exactly what we're looking at. Two really great teams with great individuals and amazing team play, and this is what you're going to get. You're not going to get some 2-0, 13-0, whatever. It's going to be tight, and this is, this is what we're here for. Zars in the corner will be checked, but Zars a bit quicker. Oh, looking oh. for blood. Finds a follow up as well. And this is massive. Pigeons starting off strong. Zars might not even be done yet. Big on the way to head towards his A side instead. But if there's a territory where we know that Zars loves to play, it is A. Yeah. Anna searching with the op. Not quite finding anything yet, however. Oh. Can the timing be right? No. Anna goes down. Polly with a fast kill. However, it's over. Tori gets the kill on Sana. Oh. Pull ups. Kyosa goes down, leaving Polly alone versus poor player. She's making a lot of noise in the process. Ooh. Oh, double swing. Yeah. And even though she didn't get the first, of course, the second uh, will be a flawless after. So, even though Bigger Keeper did manage to get us to OT, starting off strong, especially Zaz. Yeah. Massive, uh, massive opening here. Yeah, from that point onwards, uh, Pigeons could just take a lot of space across the map. Starting four people at B with a boost on Tori. Will not 
quite see anything with that smoke being down, though. But they have info. Big slowly working their way through its middle, taking the space. Pushing them back with utility. However, pigeons have been taking space short and knows there's nothing close to be so far. And the rotation, this could be scary for a big. Three players rotated towards A. One of them being Anna with the op. I like how pigeons actually approach this. So they don't really have much information as to where big is at. So those two B players, for example, very aggressive in towards short. Oh, but what? oh, well, this is rough. So they did invest into the majority oh, of the players my. up on this A side and everyone is just crumbling, falling one by one. Only 23 finding one on the flank. Has to do so much more, does so well blind. Can she find more? Can Cat help her out? Not quite. Did get a good tag on Zana, but it means 23 will have to ace in order to win this round. That's the third. Can she do more? There's one very low on the side. Falls oh. out of smoke. Does oh find the fourth, but not quite the fifth. Oh, that's such a good try. Very nice try for 20. Janiar is there to save the day for big equipa. But what a round. I did not expect that to happen. I was sure Pigeons was going to win that round with that stack. But they ended up losing one by one by one. Yeah. Very unfortunate. It's just the, the util there getting the better of these players. And maybe being a bit too aggressive towards bathroom as well. They were really going for those kills. Even though... Their info set up towards B was really solid, so they didn't really have to commit. But I oh. wanted to be ahead of the situation. Ooh. Going one Media for one trade. there. All contact made towards short. So that is information gathered up. How will pigeons deal with this? You can immediately see there's a couple of people wanting to rotate off of the B side. Is it now just Anna, Anna, Anna is who is here? here? She's here. missing shots. Eventually, what? it's connecting just in time, and now the cavalry is here. Oh. Almost a double there. Chaos alone versus three people. <sighs> oh, yeah. In the wrong way. But it continues oh. to be close. 14 13. Yeah, and this is what I love with CS. In one moment, it's like, okay, it's over. And then Anna just kills three people out of nowhere. She has n no business <laughs> killing these people, but she does because she's Anna and they win the round. They do. Very impactful frags. Anna slowly getting herself back up the scoreboard. This, this map being uh, not as flashy as perhaps the previous two maps. But still, she, uh, she delivers her bit. She keeps the team alive. And in fact, in the lead as well. But thus far, entry being denied. Both towards middle and towards this B-bomb site. As time goes on, oh, Big is looking for information, so you can see them clearing out close corners for boost. 
You're in debt You've been all, taped also. in the process. That is quite rough. Yeah, and also with that AWP heard, heard at B-side, the uh, fast and up towards A, but uh, seems like they're slowing a bit down again. Giuliano goes down by Sass. Oh, Tori gets Jenny R2. Oh, that molly could have been perfect, but it's off. Oof. Oh, the nade! The nade oh. instead will. So Tori is a bit scared immediately to sit in that position, moves a bit closer. Anna. Still has support. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's 15. That's 15. Map in serious points once again for Team Pigeons. This time, two round gap. Two rounds to try and secure it. Man, that's uh, it's a lot of pressure riding on their shoulders right now. Couldn't quite do it in regulation. Maybe now they can. Oh, entry for Anna. Kills are going down. Speeding up towards B, Paul is down too. Five versus three, leaving Genoir very lonely on the side. She managed to get one, but she's down too. Sana, Juliano. Oh, there's Sana. Leaving Juliano alone versus poor people. But if anyone can do it, it is Juliano. As a death kit, as a nade and a an HE, but this, this. Oh. Yeah. There we have it. It's locked in and secured. Team Pigeons are still the team to beat, still the team on top, but it took one hell of a fight to get there. All three maps and even an overtime in order to secure the victory. So, I mean, each and every season, it has been proved.